Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from ONTC. I'm an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training Cambridge. I am back with another video for you for your adult NMC OSCE exam. And if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I will be covering one of your evidence-based practice stations. Okay, you've been asking me to cover a lot more evidence-based topics because it makes it easier to understand those topics and be able to understand the marking criteria. So I'm back with another evidence-based practice topic this time. And this time we're going to talk about uh, MI symptoms, which is myocardial infarction symptoms for females. Okay, so that's the topic we're going to cover today, which is uh, female MI symptoms. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do in today's video, I'm going to show you a scenario. I'm going to show you what you get in your uh, exam as paperwork. Uh, I'm going to show you a little article I have pulled from NHS website uh, advising female patients. So we will use that as our uh, research article. And then we are going to see what are the main points and we're going to write the answers together at the end. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. So, okay, so just as a refresher, you know, this is a 10 minute station and this is a written station. You will be given a scenario. You will also be given a little um, uh, research summary article to read okay uh, telling you the current evidence okay so the, you will be given that and then based on that scenario and based on that summary article you will be asked to write your bullet points so that's what you have to do in 10 minutes it's a written station okay so let's look at the scenario first so you got a scenario here for female myocardial infarction symptoms. So you are running a well women clinic as a practice nurse in the GP surgery. Okay, so you have a lady, Mrs. Balem, who is a known hypertensive. Uh, she does experience hypertension. Uh, she is uh, uh, she got history of high cholesterol. She's also got family history of cardiac uh, uh, pathologies. Okay, so she's kind of a prime kind kind of uh, a, a, a person who could actually uh, may be at risk of having a MI. So you feel she is at increased risk of having myocardial infarction and you know and you should actually if she's come to you you must give her health education on recognizing the symptoms. So that's your scenario and then you will be given a blank sheet and it will ask you read the scenario read the summary article and just uh, uh, then you need to think about the implications uh, of that evidence which they have shown you for Mrs. Balaam and give your health education point uh, points as bullet points okay so that's what you have to write as bullet point is your health education uh, to Mrs. Balaam so that's what we need to do so okay so if we go back to uh, now we're gonna look at the uh, uh, summary article okay so I pull that in this information from the NHS UK website so uh, where it does actually tell you that uh, uh, females are uh, female patient have different can have different symptoms of myocardial infarction so it's really important that they understand those symptoms so they can get timely help so I pull this article from there uh, there has been a lot of research in recent years um, to uh, uh, to see why women have um, uh, worse outcomes than men when it comes to myocardial infarction and the bottom line is uh, women just don't seek medical help at time uh, you know uh, or, they don't seek medical help immediately because they actually don't recognize the symptoms of uh, myocardial infarction. Okay, so we're gonna. So they're giving you this little article to read, one page. Um, so 
what we're going to do now is and then they obviously I showed you that they will have a blank page for you to write your answers so what we're going to do now is we're just gonna uh, I'm gonna show you another screen just the things I have highlighted uh, very very quickly and that's what I will do on that uh, you know that I will read the article very quickly on the in the exam just the main points I will keep in mind so as you can see heart attack which is myocardial infarction uh, or MI is is a serious medical emergency because it stops the supply of the blood to your heart muscle uh, so heart can't pump anymore um, normally because of a blood clot um, heart attack is obviously is a medical emergency and then if the person is experiencing MI symptoms they should ring 999 straight away okay uh, to call for ambulance um, because otherwise they are not going to have a good outcome if they can't get to a hospital on time so just it is very time critical uh, normally we all know the symptoms of MIR normally chest pain we always been told chest pain shortness of breath feeling weak or lightheaded uh, or, or overwhelming feeling of anxiety so these are the main symptoms but but there is new research and evidence which shows uh, it is important to know that not everyone experiences chest pain okay especially female uh, uh, women do not experience chest pain as their main symptom so they may not experience chest pain as their primary symptom uh, the pain can be felt can chest pain can be very mild but there might be other symptoms like nausea back pain shoulder pain throat neck cheek uh, teeth or arm pain so it's the combination of the symptoms they need to look for and uh, chest pain is not always the main reason uh, main um, symptoms in female okay uh, so chest pain may be very mild or there may not be any chest pain at all but there are other symptoms to look out for so those those are the main things another thing is uh, because uh, because heart attack is commonly associated with chest pain okay we always think if it's chest pain it may be heart related otherwise it may not be but that's not true for female patient okay uh, they should look for other symptoms and uh, uh, which we have talked about above and consult a doctor um, so you know the, the, because the symptoms of myocardial infarction in female can be atypical okay they are not your typical symptoms of shortness of breath or chest pain there could be lot more other symptoms and chest pain may, may not be present okay so that's what we need to get across to Mrs. Balaam so okay so we read this article so how are we going to put it together in our answers so let's look at what we're going to read on our answer sheet so the first thing is on the blank answer sheet I will say I have read the article summary and conclude that the symptoms of MI in female uh, patient um, not always they may not always present with severe chest pain uh, chest pain may not be the main symptom so I write uh, my health education point to Mrs. BLM as below okay so then we're gonna write our points the first one is I will inform Mrs. Balaam that it is very important to recognize the symptoms of uh, myocardial infarction which is MI you can write as MI early uh, so that she is able to seek medical care urgently for a better outcome so that's the first thing is really really important that the patient can recognize the symptom second one is I will tell Mrs. Balaam as per the recent research the evidence shows that she may or may not experience chest pain as symptom of MI so it's not uh, chest pain is not always present in female okay number three is I will inform Mrs. Balaam as per evidence she may experience nausea back shoulder throat neck cheek teeth pain and arm pain as a symptom of MI so chest pain may not be there is the other kind of pain is a combination of other pain uh, which may be present okay uh, number four is I will inform Mrs. Balaam that she should report any of uh, these symptoms above urgently even if she thinks it's not cardiac even if she thinks it's not cardiac uh, she should still get it checked out number five I will advise Mrs. Balaam that she should call a 999 immediately for an ambulance 
students if she experiences experiences any of the above symptoms okay so as you can see in those symptoms chest pain is not there it's the other kind of pain okay so if she experiences any other symptoms as listed above she should ring the 999 straight away uh, to get some immediate help okay because she may be having uh, a myocardial infarction okay so that's what your scenario is that's what your marking criteria is i hope you understand this bit better now the main thing to understand is that female patient may not have chest pain as their main symptom if they are having a mi okay so that's the main thing to remember and that's what you need to get across to your patient and uh, and those are the answers you need to write okay so i hope you like this video so top tips is a written station i always remind you that make sure your handwriting is clear second thing is uh, make sure you know the evidence uh, so you are very clear uh, what is the recent uh, evidence in this topic number three is understand your marking criteria and the language in it number four is practice with a timer okay so make sure you can write this in 10 minutes very very clearly so it's only five points so you should be able to do that so that's my top tips for this topic uh, so if you like my videos please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel you can also contact us on oski nurse training at outlook.com you can also visit our website which is oski nurse training dot com as well uh, and uh, i will soon be back with another video for you on one of your adult mmc topics so bye for now